Halo 2 anniversary flight information and content pretty much confirmed with this recent MCC dev update along with some talks about some CE reach bugs on top of the CE bolt spread issue. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos want to help keep the community and keep this channel supported, make sure you tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel guys. So let's get right into the content here. So back on Friday, Postums ended up going on to Waypoint giving us a little bit of an update about what things are going on right now as we did recently have the release of Halo CE on PC which has been generally a pretty good experience with some bugs here and there about that which might be a little too early out of the oven but you know for the most part it plays all right and so they kind of go in discussion about this in this recent dev update along with the halo 2 information when it comes to the flighting process which we could be seeing sometime later this month of march so let's start off with the information i'm sure you guys really want to know halo 2 anniversary as that's the next game that's gonna be set to be launched here on pc halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary so essentially two games gonna be released at the same time much like c and cea did for uh, the last release here guys so uh they are heads down working on this at 343 right now Keep in mind that it's a small dedicated team working to bring MCC to PC because the majority of the studio is working on Halo Infinite, making sure that game is currently set to release this fall. Uh, I've seen some articles talking about some otherwise kind of scheduling. We definitely will go into that in another video as well, guys. Uh, so make sure you tap subscribe, keep us up to date there. So in the Halo 2 anniversary flight, we're going to be calling this for the most part. Uh, there's going to be a lot of content involved with this. So first of all, Halo 2. Halo 2 Anniversary, that alone is enough content right there. But then you're also going to have Reach's Forge and Theater Mode for PC going to be flighted on top of this, which I did mention in my previous video, how they kind of threw in uh, Halo 2 Anniversary flight along with talking about Forge and Theater at the same time within the same paragraph and then recent updates. I'm like... This is going to be at the release at the same time, so that's why I'm expecting the Forge and Theater will be released same time as Halo 2 Anniversary. But they said they even might even throw in a little bit of Halo Reach audio fixes as well. If you guys don't know, there currently is a dedicated audio engineering team working on the audio for MCC. So when it does get encoded to the MCC, it sounds as it did back when the game initially released. Currently, there is an issue with MCC as a whole where the way that they have to encode the audio for the MCC, it just kind of loses a little bit of its quality when doing that. And so now they're looking to fix that issue with Halo Reach starting out, but then also with uh, all the other MCC games as well. Though the audio fixes are still in development right now, so they may or may not make it into the flight. It's kind of one of those little extra cher cherry on top of the whole flighting cake, but uh, we'll see if that actually makes it in. Now they do mention a time frame for when this is going to release is at the end of March, which you guys, it's, well, this month. We're essentially 15 days away from some Halo 2 anniversary flighting at the time of recording this video, which makes me think that might be a little bit, bit of a time crunch. If you guys remember when CEA, they kind of met uh, mentioned a rough estimate of release which what for the flighting was which was back in the end of January that didn't exactly happen it ended up happening early February instead so around that time yes give or take a week or two but essentially it's going to be around then so at least by April we're going to be playing some Halo 2 anniversary on PC guys I definitely will be releasing my thoughts and experiences on this flight when it does get released so make sure you follow the channel guys keep yourselves up to date there now with the current games on MCC on PC there are still some issues that are looking to be resolved 343 knows of many of these issues as the halo support website states them quite often uh, they do state quite a few times in this post saying please read the commonly known issues to make sure when you're submitting a ticket you're not you know duplicating work for the team to really help them save time and hopefully get these issues turned around faster the biggest issue that's been happening with cea since the release has been the issue of bullet spread on pc when running unlimited frames if you guys know on PC, I'm sure that you can either run it locked 60 or unlimited frames. The issue is that a lot of these games were tied to the frame rate when it comes to the physics. Initially, this game was meant to be only played at 30 frames. And so when you bump that up, sometimes weird things happen. And this is one of those weird things that are happening that with CEA, that apparently when if you're running unlimited frames, the bullet spread, which is supposed to go straight if you're tap firing your Magnum, kind of gets a little crazy at long distances. And so that's why 
Uh, they're stating they're looking into this issue. They know it's an issue. They're trying to figure it out and what's why that is happening. And so they're hopefully they figured it out. I'm still waiting for the feature of just being able to lock my frames on PC to what my refresh rate is on my monitor. So my PC doesn't have to work harder than it needs to. I don't need 200 frames on CE. If it's great, yes, but I'm not really seeing the benefit because I have a 144 hertz monitor. So that's kind of that limitation right there. So hopefully something like that gets added into the MCC. It's one of my uh, bigger requests, I would say, when it comes to features to be added in. So for the time being, guys, before this issue does get fixed, I'd say just suggest tapping the fire a little bit slower on your Magnum. It seems that I've had, I've tested this out a few times. It seems like the spread happens with your Magnum if you're really tap firing pretty fast, which it should be shooting straight, but it has a little bit of a spread on top of that. And I'm assuming with the engine and the extra frames, it kind of messes with that. So just kind of slow down your fire rate a little bit and hopefully it works out there. CE Magnum works in very mysterious ways. Trust me, it can get very frustrating from what I've been playing. It's been fun, but it's uh, tough to take it seriously from my experience. But yeah, I cannot wait to get a chance to hop in some Halo 2 Anniversary, play that campaign at 1440p, 120, 144 hertz, and just experience it in the beauty that it is. Because I play on the original launch Xbox, like not the S or the X1 or whatever you want to call it, whatever, the regular Xbox One. And it does come across a lot of frame drops in multiplayer and in campaign quite often. Surprisingly, when that game was released, what? a year after the launch of the Xbox and already was pushing it to its limits. Can't touch you about the Xbox One there. The power of it, right? So I'm really looking forward to jump in and play it on that. This also will hopefully give you guys a better idea of what your PC specs need to be when playing, say, Halo Infinite coming out. Even though we do have six years of technological advancements when it comes to gaming, this is going to be the most technically uh, intensive game you will have on PC for Halo. And so then it can hopefully give you a decent idea if you do need to upgrade your PC for when Infinite does release. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. I would definitely will, uh, if they 343 does release a specs sheet uh, on Halo 2 Anniversary, I definitely will mention that in a video, guys, coming forward. If not, I will try to make up my own research like I did when Halo Reach came out before they officially released their specs because screw me, right? So make sure you guys stay up to date with the channel. So tap subscribe, make sure you tap the like button if you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to for Halo 2 Anniversary flighting. Again, I will make tons of video on the videos on this when it does get released. So thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now. My most recent one, I'm talking about the cancellation of E three and how that's going to affect Halo Infinite's uh, announcement and because the E3 was supposed to be huge for Halo Infinite. It's been canceled. So change of plans, guys. Xbox have to carry the mantle of responsibility when it comes to announcing that game for sure. And I also have a playlist linked on the screen here as well, guys. So you keep you guys up to date if you miss any of the recent news going on in Halo. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.